Woo. Hey, this is John with Off Grid Knit Mobile Solar, and we're out here in a 100 degree temperature in the St. Louis area, and we're doing something a little different today. Putting solar on a boat dock. So today we're putting solar on this boat dock, or I should say we already have. Um, this was actually just a service call. We didn't actually do the original install. The original install was ancient and just did a little bit of an upgrade. So right now, what happened was that the customer fried their charge controller. They disconnected their batteries to do some other installation, changed out the motor that raises and lowers this boat, and they left the solar panels connected to the charge controller and fried it. So what I did was came in and put in a Renergy Rover 30 amp MPPT charge controller. Now we connect it back up to these batteries. These are some Costco brand interstate batteries. Pretty old. Full disclosure, that one's dead. This one's good though. And this is in series parallel for a 24 volt system. The reason they're doing a 24 volt system is because this motor that raises and lowers, it's an air pump that raises and lowers this boat, pulls 60 amps to 24 volts. It's a DC motor. So here's what we did. The original charge controller was inside here. That's where the hole is. There's the old motor. That's no good. So with the install that I did today, I had to be creative. Usually I have a combiner box or a waterproof enclosure for stuff like this, but we weren't expecting that on this one. So we got creative and got a waterproof Craftsman flat toolbox, which actually made for a really nice install. Did a little bit of ventilation here and ran all the power inside. And because this is out in the elements, oops, this just allows us to be able to close and lock this up, keeping everything dry. This isn't bolted down yet, or this part, because they're gonna have to still replace that motor. But it makes everything much easier to take care of because now they have easy, easy now they have easy access to that. And I added a battery monitor. It's one of these Chinese deals. I'll put links for all this stuff in the description. But right now we're still bringing in 0.2 amps. It's sunny out, but it's getting near the end of the day. Nice thing about these boat docks is no trees. Not usually. Oh, there you go. But that's what we did. And everything here runs underneath the decking to the batteries, which makes the installation here a breeze. So eventually the customer is wanting to go ahead and add power to this whole thing. They want AC power. So we're gonna be going back. We're gonna be replacing these batteries with some brand new ones, either some new AGM deep cycle batteries or some gel. It's outside in the elements, so lithium is not really an option. And it takes power to heat these batteries. So we don't wanna to have to burn more power just keeping batteries warm. And eventually, they're gonna have a ceiling fan and lights and everything else in here. We're gonna do as much as we can DC as possible, but they wanna have AC power as well. So anyway, that's what we're doing, or that's what we did today. So remember, you don't have to just put solar power on an RV or a van or schoolie. You can put it on anything. I might have to push the limits on that and see what I can do. But anyway, like, subscribe, and share like our Facebook page, like, like everything that's off grid and mobile solar. Because you know what, we're likable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of idea of all the different things you can do with solar. This is just a tiny little bit. I like doing this stuff. So anytime I get to do something different and neat like this, I'm pretty happy. So have a good day.